Hey guys, welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. Tyler, thanks for stopping by. <clears throat> Tonight we've got a beer that I've had on several occasions, but I don't think that I've ever um, reviewed it on the channel. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be a beer out of Athens, Georgia, and it's gonna come from Creature Comforts. And uh, this is gonna be their Tropicalia, which is a IPA. Um, this one comes in at 6.6%. And this one's pretty fresh. This one was canned on April 12th, so not even a month old. Um, it says ripe and juicy, aromatic, and balanced. Um, yeah, like I said, I've had this beer probably, gosh, I don't know, 50 times. I don't know, maybe not that many, but I've had it a lot, and um, it's really good. Uh, I haven't had it in a very long time, so I'm really excited to get into it. Um, also, another cool thing with this one, um, which you probably noticed on the uh, on the thumbnail for the video, this beer was used in uh, Endgame from uh, the Avengers movie. Um, they shoot the movies, I think, in the Atlanta area, and this beer is out of Athens, so it's really close to Atlanta. And if you watch, um, I think in Thor's house, I think there's a poster on the wall for Tropicalia, and then also there's a part where he's literally drinking it while you see the fat Thor and stuff. Um, just, yeah, check the thumbnail if you didn't really pay attention to it. Pretty cool. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get this in the glass. Um, I'm really excited to get into it again. It's been far too long since I've had it. We're going to leave some room this time. So, as you can see, this is not a New England style IPA. Um, it's pretty clear. Uh, there is a lot of carbonation bubbles streaming up. Uh, it's got about a finger's worth of like a bright white. Uh, head there kind of soap sudsy yeah nice looking beer comes in like a light gold color yeah let's go ahead and show our nose in this one. Oh, so this one's actually hopped with uh what was it citrus centennial and galaxy so three uh three pretty good hops there popular hops i should say so all right let's show our nose in this thing yeah, it smells just like I remember. Uh, it's it's very clean. Uh, it's got a very clean hot pr profile and malt build to it. You get a lot of tropical fruit, you know, uh, you know, hence the name Tropicalia. Um, yeah, you get a lot of pineapple. You get a, a pretty decent amount of citrus as well, which most of the beer, you know, people that watch these videos probably um, are aware of how popular or how prevalent citrus hops are in um, most of the IPAs. So um, that kind of goes without being said, but I'll probably continue because I am smelling it. But yeah, big pineapple, big citrus. <clears throat> it's got a little bit of grapefruit in there. Maybe a little bit of like a passion fruity thing. Just like I said though, very clean malt bill. It's just like a light crackery malt. So it smells really nice. It smells really clean. Let's go ahead and try it. Cheers. Yeah, <clears throat> just as I remember. And also kind of want to throw out there, this is not like some huge juice bomb of a beer. It's not like this hugely hyped beer but it's really, really tasty for what it is. And now to me, <clears throat> this isn't really West Coast either. I, I would, I don't know. I don't know if I would just call it a new school IPA or like an East Coast IPA possibly. Like it's very juicy hops, um, but it's not like New England style juicy. It does have a pretty nice bitterness in there very well balanced for what it is. It's got a nice, like sweet, juicy flavor, but it's also got a nice little bit of like a bitter hop type, uh, bitter like bite type thing. Like I said, the malt profile, malt bill is just very clean. It's just, I mean, to me, it's just a light bready or crackery malt. Um, and then it lets the kind of, the hops kind of play with that. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, it's, it's got those same kind of hop flavors you got on the nose. Um, you know, it's got some pineapple, some citrus, 
um, some like orange and grapefruit type thing. Maybe a little bit of like a of the passion fruit. It's got a little bit of this earthy, dank thing too. Maybe even this slight like floral thing. Yeah, I mean, it's really good. It's a crusher. I mean, <clears throat> it's got a nice like spritzy carbonation to it, uh, but it's really drinkable too. 6.6%, you know, it's, you know, that's in the ballpark for me. I mean, that's something I would sit and drink on a warm day. Nice dry finish to it. This is a really good beer, man. I'm, I've missed it. I picked up a six pack of it. And um, this is just one of those beers, man, that you just want to sit outside and drink it, man. I took some of these to the beach a few years ago and it was just the perfect combo. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. I mean, there's nothing crazy about it. It's not going to blow your hair back. Um, <clears throat> it's just a very well done, really flavorful, clean IPA. So that's it in a nutshell. But this is Creature Comforts Tropicalia. Um, as far as a rating from me, so Untap's giving it a uh, 4.09. To me, <clears throat> I don't know if it's just like a bias type thing, but <clears throat> it's gonna go 4.2 for me. You know, I think a few years ago, I probably would have given this like a four or five or something like that, 4.5. But uh, my palate has definitely grown since then, uh, since this was, something I really sought out. I was really looking for and sought after. Um, <clears throat> but that doesn't take away from it. It's a great beer. It's been, you know, they've been producing it for quite a while. Uh, it's very popular in, in this area. Um, and it's a very good beer. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and a comment. Don't forget to let me know what you're drinking on as well tonight. And uh, if you like what I'm doing, consider subscribing. Um, we got some cool stuff in the works. Um, you know, we're going to do some collaborations with FLX uh, and Rajopolis. So uh, stay tuned. We're, we're kind of working through all that, and uh, we're going to be pumping out some good content. So hopefully you guys are having a good evening. And, uh, yeah, cheers, and we'll see you in the next video.